little early in the season, but a good start is half the battle, and Drodov certainly started well. Unbeaten to date, they went in front after half an hour. Gavin Brennan's header on wasn't dealt with by Barry Ryan, and like all good strikers, Declan O'Brien was ready to pounce to give Drodov the lead. Andrade should have put some daylight between the sides. With Limerick stretched, Gary O'Neill worked the ball onto his right, composed himself before unleashing his drive, but credit to Barry Ryan who pushed the ball to safety. It was a case of brother against brother in between the sticks and Barry's younger brother Dave made an outstanding save to keep out James McGrath's excellent header. The Ryan family show continued in the second period. Barry doing well to tip over Alan McNally's downward header. Top class keeping from the Limerick netminder. Limerick boss Stuart Taylor was delighted to get Shane Duggan from Cork over the winter. He controlled brilliantly but dragged his shot wide. And once again Barry Ryan came to Limerick's rescue, brilliantly blocking away Dara Doyle's fearsome strike. Gavin Brennan's follow-up, giving the ball boys something to chase. And then some Friday night drama. Do not adjust your TVs. A power failure at Thoman Park. Football by torchlight? I think not. After a brief interlude, power was restored and Limerick set about restoring parity. Shane Tracy's curling free kick brought a fine save from the younger of the Ryans. Limerick stuck at it and when the ball was knocked back into the area, Tam McManus, who joined Limerick last week after a stint in the US, was there to turn the ball home. But the offside flag was raised. Limerick nil, draw the United 1. We're very disappointed we never get anything out of the game. Really disappointed we didn't win the game. Um, we... We pushed close towards the end, but um, we need to do more. We need to do more in the, over the 90 minute period. Great away performance, great attitude, uh, all round. You know, from the players, stuck to the game plan, and um, got our goal in the first half, and we're delighted to keep a clean sheet as well. And all round, great hard work, great performance. And as you will now see from the uh, Premier Division table, it's been a very good start for Trevor Crawley's men as Shamrock Rovers topped the table with 10 points, with Cork City second on goal scored. Drada and Dundalk have both made excellent starts, but it's been slightly frustrating for the defending champions, St. Pat's. They remain unbeaten, but have just one win so far. Back-to-back -back wins has UCD on six points. Surprisingly, Sligo and Derry City sit in ninth and tenth places respectively. Limerick are 11th and Athlone prop up the table, still searching for their first league point of the season.